Our nation's capital in Washington, D.C., where border security, a bill, is a, at a standstill this morning. Both President Biden and former President Donald Trump making a visit to the border in Texas yesterday, sharing their opposing viewpoints on how to get things fixed. Tiffany Liu is live in our newsroom with more from the trip. Tiffany. Yeah, well, Mark, the two were separated by a few hundred miles, but President Biden and former President Trump took jabs at each other while visiting the U.S.-Mexico border. Biden was in Brownsville and Trump was in Eagle Pass. They both agree the situation along the border need to change, but they don't agree on how to get there. Biden called out House Republicans for sinking a bipartisan border bill that would have added more Border Patrol agents, asylum officers, and fentanyl detection technology. He even called for Trump to join his efforts, getting Congress to reconsider the agreement Agreement. Meanwhile, the former president blamed Biden for the migrant crisis, calling it a Joe Biden invasion. Now the United States is being overrun by the Biden migrant crime. It's a new form of uh, vicious violation to our country. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with the issue, instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me or I'll join you. President Biden is reportedly considering an executive action. It would restrict migrants' ability to seek asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border if they crossed illegally. No decision has been made at this point. Meanwhile, here in Texas, SB4 was scheduled to take effect on Tuesday. This would allow police to arrest people suspected of crossing illegally. But at this point, a federal judge has blocked it. Attorney General Ken Paxton and Governor Greg Abbott say they plan to appeal that ruling. Mark, over to you.